Hey everybody and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the Arts News Andrew speaking and it's time for another scam call. Now this one was a little interesting because the automated voice that gave me the message that they were trying to reach me about an order didn't identify which company it was. So I wasn't sure if it was Amazon or something like that. Turns out it was Walmart calling about somebody trying to buy a gift card using my information. And they tell you that before they even know who they're talking to. But they're, they're, they're adamant that it was your information being used. So I went ahead and screwed with them. Now it's very similar to the Amazon scam where they want you to download or sign into a website that allows them access to your computer. Literally all they're trying to do is take over your computer and do whatever nefarious actions they're going to do. So whatever you do, never, ever, ever download the, the information, the the. the download whatever program it is they're trying to get you to download and don't go to the website and insert whatever key code they give you because all you're doing is opening the door for them to access your computer and do whatever they want to do so whatever you do don't do it but if you get a call like this either hang up on them or screw with them like i do hope you enjoy the call with order in one zero zero four zero four one eight zero eight Please collect this your order. If any queries about your order, press 9 to talk to our live representative. Thank you for calling Walmart. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I've got this uh, call regarding an order that was placed. I, I'm not sure what it's about. I was hoping you can give me some more information. For purchasing a Walmart online gift card of four hundred dollars, okay. Okay, who who placed the order? So the transaction was made by using your information. Okay, well, where's it being sent to? Because I didn't place any orders whatsoever. Okay, so sir, as you told me that you haven't made any transaction no. to Walmart for purchasing the online gift card. So I think that someone is using your information in order to make this transaction. Okay. So, no problem, sir. I will help you to cancel this transaction right now. Okay, great. Just Thank you. Just take your time and be in front of the computer. You're welcome. Yes, I, I'm in, in front of my computer right now. What do I need to do to cancel this transaction? You need to fill up a 3D online cancellation form on your computer screen in order to cancel this transaction. Okay. So right now, let me know what do you see. Well, I don't see anything yet. I haven't done anything yet. Do I need to go to walmart.com? No, I want you to go to your home screen where you can see all of your icons. Which home screen? I'm sorry. The home screen of your computer. Okay, what am I looking for? Now, look over there, you can see your internet browser. Uh, yeah, I use Google Chrome. So, open it up. Okay, I did that. Now, look over there at the very top, there's a long address bar where you can see this, um, where you can type something to search. It's written, search Google or type a URL. Okay, okay. What do you want me to enter there? So, so type over there, uh, P as in Peter. Okay. Then D as in David. Okay. Then the word help. PD help? Yes. Okay. Then put a dot. A dot? Okay. And the word info. Info. Okay. Yes. Now, can you just read me back, which you have typed in right now? pdhelp.info. It says, this site cannot be reached. Maybe I typed it in wrong. Hold on a second. Can you spell it for me again? Yes. It's P as in Papa. Okay. D as in... D as in Delta. Okay. Then H as in Harry. Okay. E as in Echo. Yep, okay. L 
as in Larry. Okay. E as in Papa. Okay. Then put a dot. Got the dot. I as in Indiana. Okay. In as in Nancy. Yep, yep. If as in Frank. Okay. And O as in Oscar. Okay. Now, now press the enter key. And what is this I'm going to? Uh, sir, this is the server page which will send on your computer screen the 3D online cancellation form which you will fill up in order to cancel this fraudulent transaction which has been made by using your information. Okay. And now what do you see? All right, hold on a second. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm actually doing a little bit of research to see what this is because I've never even heard of this. Shouldn't I go to walmart.com to cancel this transaction? Uh, sir, you can't find this option over there. So then this is the server page where you will get to see the cancellation form. From where you will, from where you will get the cancellation form on your computer screen. So that's why I have... I told you to type this on your computer screen so that you can get to see the cancellation form over there. Okay, so I, I need to go to walmart.com and put this in? Is that what you're telling me? So go to walmart.com first. Oh, we didn't want to play! Uh, what an idiot. I have no idea what pdhelp.info is, but I sure as hell am not bringing it up. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of research trying to see what it is. Okay, it, look like, it looks like it comes up as secure help. A secured connection, join your session, security code, join a public session, no available session. So it's some type of web page that allows you to do a secure connection with somebody else very similar to any desk or something like that there's no way in hell I'm going to this site to give them access to my computer that's not gonna help but uh, if somebody calls you claiming to be from Walmart <laughs> scam 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 that's all it is guys and please, whatever you do, don't log into any websites, information they give you, and don't just just tell them to go screw off or screw with them like I do. Enjoy. Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.